Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to talk about the different ways that we have to initialize variables in C++, okay? So this is going to be just a like a curious video about how C++ have many different ways of doing things. So you guys are probably familiar with this, let's say uh, int none equals seven, okay? So if we, if we call C out, uh, none, let's say C out, none, and and l so if you call the if you run this we should we should see 11 okay actually 7 not 11 what am i thinking so you guys can see 7 uh here uh let's say that uh, this is the most famous way to uh, of assigning variables uh, i think in most languages uh, such as C++, C, uh, Java, C Sharp, uh, Python, uh, and a lot of uh, a lot of languages. But there's also another way to doing doing the, of doing this. So you, you could create you could do this, the the following, which is using as a, as a function. So let's say I want to do. Imagine that nine is a function. I could say seven here. So this will actually work, uh, which is kind of interesting because. Uh, C++ has like this, uh, I could say many, many ways of doing things. So this would work, strangely enough. Uh, let's, let me change this to, let's say, uh, to curly brackets instead of uh, parentheses or like a function. And as you guys can see, it still works. So it's, it's, interesting, it's interesting to see this, okay? So this is kind of the three main ways that I can think of uh, of initializing um, variables in C++. You guys should comment down below which which are the other ways that you guys know about how to to do this kind of this kind of stuff in C++. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. So this is the last video of this part. We're gonna start a new part uh, on next month. Okay. So you guys should check that out also okay so thank you guys so much for watching this video see you guys next time